time to get started finally. It's fall outside, it's raining, happens to be today. Got the table done, uh, there was some shimming I had to do. It gave me a little bit of trouble, but I've got it well within tolerances now. I'm really happy. Um, in case anybody doesn't wanna buy steel tubing, um, I couldn't find any locally. I was gonna have to have it shipped in. So I thought, well, I've got this left over from the piece of four foot uh, fiberboard, and this stuff is so accurate. I mean, it's just, it, it measures out perfect. Three, three quarter inch pieces give me uh, enough height that I don't have to worry about on a two inch ever hitting the table with a cleat call. So I made, I made five of these and they're, they're that on. And I guess the only thing I have to worry about is moisture. So got them done. Now it's time to start the fin or the rudder. And uh, the first question I had was it tells you to locate the top of the hinge. And once I separated them, you know, you get worried. What if I, what if I mix them up? What if I put one on the wrong spar? Well, true to what they've said, you can't put this piece on upside down. I don't know why I locate the top, but it makes it easier and quicker, I guess. But you can't put it on upside down, right side out, anything. It goes only in one position and it only goes on one spar. So that was, uh, that was reassuring, I like that. There's no real mystery, this is quite easy. There's, they've got some films about it. So this will be about my first impressions. I'll probably. Wow, my first label. How many think we got to go? Okay, now this is probably the good time to tell you to subscribe and hit the bell notifications. I don't know what you want to get out of this channel, but I do know this is what I want to get out of this channel. Um, right here, where the doubler on the rear spar fin glicoed in, it was overlapping the piano hinge um, doubler or angle piece. And they offset it, of course, to the one side so because the piano hinges are offset and so it's in the center that makes good sense so i had to make a decision do i leave it hanging over it and um, just overlap it do i sand it and get the um, the edge distance a little bit closer or do i carve out a piece of the piano hinge and it only would have went down to here so you can see what decision I made. It's clearing now by about a 32nd of an inch. So there shouldn't be any rubbing or expansion problems. And if you want to give your suggestions, I'd be really glad to hear them. And the next guy that's going to do this might see that and make a better decision than I did. As you can see, I just priming the um, mating surfaces. And I think now is the time, good time to clean up and put a bunch of junk away and get organized and then do the skin. I did notice one thing that when I got all done checking everything in, uh, there was only two pieces missing and it was the center console retainers to the floor angle pieces. And it's a good thing because that they sent them right out. Um, they have all the holes drilled, pre-drilled in it. It's not just a couple little angle pieces so that it has the nut plate holes all built right in there. And the nut plates, of course, are, are in some other package somewhere else in my mess. But, yep, no charge. Thanks, good job, Zenith. Okay, this is the next day and I finished it up. That was really satisfying. No big buckles, everything is smooth. Just a couple little issues you saw. Um, I matched it up to the uh, rib the top rib of the rudder strut, I put that together to make sure that it was in the right spot. I slept a lot better after that, um, even though you know that they did it right. So, can't wait to uh, get to the next part. It went really well. It was a little harder than what I thought it was going to be, all the edge preparation. But and I had to change my buffer as a matter of fact, I'll show you. I made a little bracket here to, to
to set this out. That way I got more room. I was struggling for room. So when you're running the bigger pieces up, they don't get close to the wall. That made a big difference in going underneath the bottom of it, not hitting the table. So that, well, the bottom line is I hope these videos of those little things as we go along, I won't think I'm gonna have a whole lot to say, but little things like that might help a guy down the road. So I hope you join me and I'll see you in the next one.